Did you know that Alpha version of Escape from Tarkov had some really interesting features which now are cut out by the devs? We analyzed Tarkov development process for the last 4 years and found the 20 cool features of Alpha version, which now the game has lost. I'm with it. Of course, Escape from Tarkov is getting greater with every year. The game obtains new content, new mechanics and technical stability. But at the same time Escape from Tarkov was losing a big variety of small details which were making the game a kinda masterpiece. Obviously this was made just to decrease the barrier to entry for the newcomers, because Tarkov had the reputation of an extremely hardcore and cruel project, and it didn't have a wide audience and popularity. So the devs were forced to make these changes. Now, when Tarkov has gained its core audience and world recognition, we are just reminding you about the incredible details of Escape from Tarkov Alpha version. Since all of you know that the real masterpieces are made of details. The guns. The behavior of weapons in the early stages of the development of Escape from Tarkov was completely different. For example, recoil worked differently. When firing a burst, the first few shots threw the weapon upwards, and then our characters started to control the recoil and shoot more accurately. But there was a problem. It was impossible to fire in short bursts. The weapon immediately was lurching up, and it was much easier to just clamp the entire mag at once. Later, the developers slightly changed the recoil, which made it possible to make short cutoffs more closely. But in the beta version, the recoil of all weapons was forcibly increased and if earlier absolutely any weapon was quite effective and customization was optional and mainly influenced comfort and aesthetics, now customization directly affects efficiency and the so-called metaguns became more dominant against all other weapons. Of course, earlier any weapon was comparable to a modern meta build, high accuracy, low recoil, and it's also not necessary to modify at all. And apparently the developers wanted to differentiate weapons, firstly, to motivate players to customize their weapons, and secondly, this modification was justified. But as you can see, now almost any modification will be unjustified only because it doesn't correspond to the current metaguns. And you simply cannot rely on the effectiveness of, for example, the M4A1 SOP mod, and don't get me started about the AK. In our opinion, the weapon recoil is now very high, in reality it's much lower, and the current meta just kills customization because it forces you to blindly modify the weapon according to the same builds instead of increasing your personal convenience. And what do you think about this? Let's discuss in the comments. In early version of Escape from Tarkov, the character always held the weapon in one position at the shoulder, and when approaching the obstacle, he pushed it up or to the side. It looked beautiful, even in the launch trailer for the beta version, the devs showed the character holding a gun just like that, but players complained that it was difficult to fight in CQB. And yes, if the game takes into account the dimensions of your weapon, you could just take a shorter weapon for indoor combat. But not so simple. The character doesn't hold the guns on outstretched arms, as for example in the Call of Duty, so nothing prevents him from simply pressing the weapon closer to his body, and the devs have implemented that. Now the weapon will first be pressed as close as possible, and only then it will be taken to the side. And such a system looks really more logical, although we have lost some beauty. Inertia has also changed. During the alpha testing period, it was much stronger, it seemed that the weapon really had weight, and with sharp turns it skidded, which looked more beautiful, and even had logic, because our character always holds the weapon at the shoulder, and his hands should get tired. However, the movement of the weapon was not entirely correct, if the character presses the stock to the shoulder then the fulcrum should be there, but in the alpha version the weapon moved relative to the pistol grip. And even now we can see this on pistols with a stock, but movements of primary weapons become more realistic and the inertia itself has significantly decreased. The character is grasping the weapon and almost doesn't move it during sharp turns. Reloading system also underwent some changes, in alpha version the character always loaded magazines from left to right, so players sorted their magazines manually, putting the full ones to the left. Now the character will first take the magazine with the most rounds. In the alpha version, every weapon could misfire. This information may be inaccurate, but according to some sources, it depended on the type of round and the weapon itself. And also, a critically low state weapon could chew the shell, but this mechanic partially is in the game even now. The grenades. In the alpha version of Escape from Tarkov, there were only two grenades, and they were really a weighty argument in any battle. 
The F-1 grenade could wound or even kill the thrower if he didn't take proper cover in time, which seemed quite natural as the throwing distance was much shorter at the time. Later, the devs corrected the throw, making it a little stronger, but at the same time, they significantly reduced the damage and range of damage of all grenades, and also removed the swaying of trees, the effect of the character's startle and his stunning. And with one of the recent updates, many grenades were nerfed even more. By the way, have you noticed how the explosion effect has changed? Earlier there was a huge cloud of smoke that rose into the air. Now it has become much smaller and the flash has been slowed down and made more cinematic. In the alpha stage there was an underbarrel grenade launcher which is extremely anticipated by half of the community and the other half prays for it to be delayed as long as possible. In the alpha version of EFT players could install the GP34 on AK-74. However it worked rarely and very moody. The shots often hung in the air, did not explode, and the use of the grenade launcher often broke the character's hand animations. Soon, the grenade launcher was cut out, and to this day it is not in the game. The Sights In the current version of Escape from Tarkov the scopes have lost several cool features. Firstly each scope in the alpha version of the game had a special glass effect which looked much more beautiful, the optics seemed more voluminous, and in bright sunny weather the imitation of glass made it difficult to aim at some angles. Secondly, the aiming marks were more blurred, some of them had flashes and ripples, and it looked more like real sights. Now each scope has a perfectly sharp mark and crystal clear glass which greatly simplifies aiming even in the sunniest weather, but also reduces the attention to details in the game. Flashlights are also worth mentioning. Previously they simulated the reflections, brightly illuminating the entire room, but to say truth this was achieved with additional light sources, which was slowing the performance of the game. Later, these reflections were completely abandoned, and we hope that the developers will manage to optimize and implement the reflection system in the future or make it optional. The Character In the process of evolution, the game has lost not only the inertia of weapon, but also the inertia of the character. According to the developers, in the early versions of the game the inertia was not implemented as well as they would like and caused the feeling of the character stunning, so they had to abandon this mechanic. Fortunately, not forever, since the studio recently announced plans to return the character's inertia in the future and also implement the mechanic of losing balance, which definitely sounds great. Animations of interaction with objects, such as boxes, bags and doors, were much more elaborate. Take a look at how the character used to take the doorknobs, and how beautifully he opened them. The only drawback here was only that the character had to be in a predetermined position in front of the object, which is why the game constantly pulled him up, taking control from the player's hands. And it was incredibly annoying to all the alpha testers of the escape from Tarkov. Now you can reproduce the same situation by knocking out the door, the character will be magnetized to the door, and you will not be able to stop. Soon, the developers took drastic measures and completely cut out all these animations. Now, as you know, all doors are opened with a wave of the character's hand. As expected, it became more comfortable for players to interact with objects, but at the same time, a new problem appeared this way of opening doors has become very simple. Players just run up to the door, wave their hand and immediately aim, controlling the still opening door. An ideal option would be a system similar to the implementation of looting in The Last of Us 2, when the character just needs to be in a certain radius, and the hand itself will reach the point of interaction. Also, during the alpha testing period, the characters were more emotional. Throwing a grenade or neutralizing an enemy was always accompanied with a phrase. Unfortunately, it only looked very cool from the outside. In fact, everything was very simple, there was no stress factor, the character simply shouted a predetermined phrase in prescribed conditions. Even if you tried to set up an ambush, the character could easily betray himself with a shout while throwing a grenade, and also always reported a killed enemy, even if he could not be seen in any way. Now the character's reactions are completely under the control of the player. But it would be great to see the realization of the stress factor in the future, when in a fierce firefight the character would scream, and usage of a surgical kit did not occur in complete silence without pain medication. Getting injured in the game looked much more brutal. Often, an unexpected injury could scare the player, disorienting him and causing panic. Just compare this effect then and now. But the spatter of blood looked completely unnatural. At death, the character dropped his weapon. By the way, in the trailer it happened with a realistic sound. But in fact, the mechanics was illogical, because the weapon is fixed on an abstract sling, even the slot is named accordingly. And visually the sling is not displayed, as it is difficult to implement. Therefore, the change was logic. 
A serious loss was the refusal of the developers from Inverse Kinematics, the miscalculation of the movements of the character's legs, taking into account the surface on which he steps. It looked very cool, except that sometimes it unnaturally twisted the hero's legs and caused performance problems. But again, the developers could make this function local to each player and optional. The Scavs In the early stages of Tarkov, there was only one enemy faction controlled by the AI, Scavs. Their behavior was radically different from the current one. Now the bots, although they seem relatively alive, as they try to imitate the behavior of the players, running across open spaces and looting the bodies, but as soon as it comes to the battle, all logic seems to leave them, they immediately start yelling and only after a few seconds they start shoot. In the alpha version, bots yelled very rarely, more often they just started shooting without warning. And this is much more interesting, no matter how bad the AI was at that time, for the player, a meeting with an ordinary scav could finish the raid immediately. And no matter how the developers are trying to make the behavior of bots more similar to real people, the only fact that scavs are deliberately stupid destroys all the logic. In the raid series scavs were also shown not in the best position, when they did not even try to hurt skiff, but simply fired into the air. Apparently, this is how it was conceived to leave the scavs as faceless stupid bots that only dilute empty locations and will never be able to repel real players. Graphics Many players yearned for the atmosphere of Tarkov's alpha version, and a special visual style of the game had a significant role here. Unfortunately, we are not developers, so we do not understand how the graphics works technically and why the devs had to change it. We can only talk about how the game looks now, and how it looked few years ago, and it was really atmospheric, dark and heavy. It carried a special, unique romance. Of course, all this is subjective. The developers intend to improve the graphics of the game, and it remains to hope that the implementation of new technologies will optimize the consumption of PC resources and at the same time will help a better immersion in the atmosphere of the game. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day!